According to sources cited by The New York Times on Friday, the Joe Biden administration is actively seeking to discourage Israel from launching a substantial offensive against Hezbollah, the Islamic military organization based in Lebanon. Their concern stems from the potential for such an action to destabilize the entire Middle East. The United States and Israeli officials, as reported by the paper, are concerned that if Israel were to launch a significant offensive against both Hamas and Hezbollah, it could face challenges in a two-front conflict. Additionally, there are apprehensions that such actions could potentially lead to the involvement of the United States and Iran, given Iran's close ties with Hezbollah. The report says that U.S. officials have tried to stay in touch with Hezbollah and Iran, using the mediation of Arab countries, while advising Israel to take care that their actions in the north against Hezbollah and in the south in Gaza do not give Hezbollah an easy pretext to enter the war. According to the New York Times, these concerns were made clear during meetings held by Biden and U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken with Israeli officials. The U.S. president is said to have particularly raised the specters of the disastrous decisions by Washington to invade Iraq and wage a war in Afghanistan. While there have been cross-border exchanges of strikes between Hezbollah and Israel in recent days, both sides have thus far avoided a full-scale commitment of their forces. Israeli Defense Minister Yov Gallant has characterized Hezbollah as being 10 times stronger than Hamas and has cautioned that the Israeli military should be prepared for potential engagement with Hezbollah. NYT sources described Gallant as a Hezbollah hawk who has advocated a preemptive strike on the group, a stance which was not shared by other Israeli officials. Meanwhile, on Sunday, Hezbollah's deputy leader, named Qasem, said that the group is in the heart of the battle between Israel and Hamas explaining that it is seeking to weaken the Israeli enemy and let them know that we are ready for a possible major escalation. The Middle East found itself in the throes of new violence on October 7, when the Palestinian armed group Hamas launched a surprise attack on Israel, with ensuing fighting resulting in thousands of dead and injured. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has declared his country at war, with preparations underway for a major ground operation in Gaza.